friends, it's Miss Kendra. Today I wanted to share a finger play with you about two little brown bears. Are you guys ready to get started? All right, get your fingers ready with your brown bears. Two little brown bears sitting on a hill. One named Jack and the other named Jill. Run away, Jack. Run away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little brown bears digging in the snow. One named Fast and the other named Slow. Run away, Fast. Run away, Slow. Come back, Fast. Come back, Slow. Two little brown bears feeling very proud. One named Quiet and the other named Loud. Run away, loud. Come back, quiet. Come back, loud. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? I'm glad that I could share that with you guys. Today, I'm going to be reading stories with bears in them. And do you see my little friend, my little brown bear back here? He's going to be doing story time with us. Little brown bear. I have a story called Children Make Great Pets by Peter Brown. Children make great pets. One morning, Lucy was practicing her twirls when she noticed she was being watched. Hello, who's there? I can smell you behind those bushes, so just come on out. Squeak! Who's hiding behind the bushes? When her secret admirer scurried into the open, Lucy could not believe her eyes. Oh my gosh, you're the cutest little critter in the whole forest! Squeak! So Lucy brought the critter home to show her mom. Mom, look what I found outside. I call him Squeaker because he makes funny sounds. Squeak. See, isn't he the cutest? Can I keep him, please? Lucille Beatrice Bear, don't you know that children make terrible pets? Aw, come on, Mom, look how sweet he is. You won't be any trouble, will you, boy? Squeak. Oh, all right, you can keep him on one condition. Squeaker is your responsibility. I will not take care of him for you. Thanks, Mom. Squeaker is going to be the best pet ever. You'll see. Lucy and Squeaker were inseparable. They played together. They ate together. They napped together. Lucy and Squeaker did everything together. But it wasn't all fun and games. He was impossible to potty train. Squeak! Squeak! He ruined the furniture. He caused problems wherever he went. We don't throw food at tea parties! Squeak! And just when Lucy thought things couldn't get any worse. Squeaker disappeared! Squeaker! Here, Squeaker! Lucy checked the usual hiding spots, but her pet was nowhere to be found. Come here, boy! Squeaker! Squeaker, where are you? Sniff, sniff. Lucy had almost given up hope when her sensitive nose caught a whiff of her Squeaker. Lucy followed Squeaker scent this way and that and across the entire forest until finally she found Squeaker! But something had changed. Squeaker didn't seem like a pet anymore. Lucy knew what she had to do. Goodbye, Squeaker. Squeaker's with his family. And they all say, squeak, 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 squeak. Squeaker belongs with his family. I guess some critters just aren't meant to be pets. I'm really going to miss the little fella. Maybe it's all for the best. Lucy had a lot to think about on her walk home. By the end of the day, Lucy had learned one very valuable lesson. You were right, Mom. Children do make terrible pets. They really are the worst. The end. Oh my gosh, what did she find? Now she found an elephant. The end. Children make terrible pets. The next story I wanted to share with you it has another bear, but do you know what kind of bear this is? A panda bear. 
so cute. I love you so much. Let's see who this is by. Igloo Books. I love you this much. I love you this much. When the weather is cloudy, if there's just one thing I could do, it would be to float up in the sky and bring sunshine home to you. I'd catch the golden rays in a jar that glows bright and warm to keep you nice and cozy when there's a scary storm. To show you how much I love you, I'd make you a special treat. It would be the yummiest cake ever just for you to eat. My cake would be big and tall and covered in lovely pink cream. It would be a yummy, scrummy, sticky, candy-licking dream. Well, that's a big cake. I would do anything to cheer you up when you're feeling down. I'd put on a funny show for you and dress up as a clown. I'd get my friends to dress up in silly circus style. Then I'd wobble on a tightrope just to try and make you smile. I would run through the meadows where the wildflowers grow and pick the best ones for you in soft evening glow. This special bunch of flowers would be pink, orange, and green, bursting with lovely blooms that are the best you've ever seen. Look at all those flowers. In a magic wood, I'd find out where the fairies go to hide. I'd make a wish in the fairy ring and dance around inside. Fairies would come with their wands and flutter here and there. I would make a wish for you to show you how much I care. Can you guys see the fairies? They're in a little mushroom circle in the forest. I love fairies. I'd turn into a superhero and become Super Panda Bear. If you needed me, I'd zoom up high and fly through the air. I'd whoosh over the city, across the mountains and the sea. When I finally reach you, you'd get a su super hug from me. I love you so much, I would gather clouds to make a lovely bed with the warmest fluffy blanket and a pillow for your head. I'd imagine you were with me and ready for a rest. Then I'd read you all the stories that I know you like the best. To show you how much I love you, I'd climb a ladder to the sky. I would reach past the clouds and sunbeam, sunbeams and rainbows way up high. Do you guys see that rainbow? He is up really high. My ladder would stretch up to the stars and they would shine so bright. I'd bring the biggest one back for you to twinkle through the night. I'd go up to the mountaintop and shout so everyone could hear. Then I'd run back down to whisper, I love you in your ear. I want to tell the world just how special you are to me and that when I'm with you, I'm as happy as can be. I love you so much because I think that you're the very best. You're all warm and cuddly and much snugglier than the rest. I can think of lots of ways to tell you how lovely you are to let you know what you mean to me and that you're my shining star. I'm so lucky that I have you and you'll always have me too. I love you more than anyone just because you're you. Oh, do you guys see the fairies? And look, he's holding a big heart. Say, I love you. The end. All right, friends. That was really fun doing story time with you with all of my bears. I read you I love you so much and children make terrible pets. I hope you had fun doing our brown bear song and I got to show you my little brown bear too. What should we name him? I don't have a name for him. Should we name him something? I was thinking Mr. Brown Bear or maybe Mr. Brown or maybe just hmm <laughs> All right, friends. I hope to see you soon. Thanks for doing circle time with me today. Bye.